Hi, everyone. My name is AJ. This is Kathy. This is David. And it is time to power up. Now, in just 30 minutes, we are going to become both muscle and movement strong by combining classic exercises from the strength training floor with total body movement patterns. Today, for most of the power, we will need an adjustable barbell as well as a step or a bench. And today, we will refer to our weight selections as large, medium, or small, but it's totally okay if it takes you doing the workout a few times to figure out your appropriate weight selections. But what we do want to know is that because we want to give you the added bonus of some cardiovascular training, we're going to transition quickly from one exercise to the next. And then if you need any options, keep your eyes on David to help you out. All right, so I think that's it. Think that's Start it. off with a lighter weight or small weight on the bar to get us nice and warm. And let's move. Yeah. Feet hip width apart, standing saying? tall. Look at you this. Let's do a manual deadlift. So Go ahead this. and try it out. Hey, yo, so I want you to slide those hips behind you. Keep that chest open and proud and spine long here. Give me one more. Elbows go up and out. It's an upright row. Here we go. Seven total. Once again, still standing nice and tall. Bar is going to land somewhere around the lower chest. You got one more. Then a big juicy shoulder roll. All right, hinge at the hip. Pull the bar in. Bent over row to wake up the back and those yeah, postural yeah. muscles. So just like the deadlift, hips going back, spine long, elbows going back past the rib cage. Four more. How are we feeling, team? Are we feeling one more already? Good deal. Two more. All right, you give me one more. Look at this. It's called a hang clean. Try it out. Load, lift. Reset with control. So we got a total body movement to get everything engaged from the jump. All right, give me one more of those hang cleans. Then go ahead and lift the bar up and over to the meaty part of your back. Find your favorite squat positioning and gently sit. That's it. So everybody's gonna look a little bit different with our squat positioning and that's okay. But I wanna see your hips go back and your knees check over the toes regardless. Ready, set, let's go quicker. But I do want you to make sure the knees stay behind the tip of the toes for safety. All right, hold here. Right foot forward, left foot back, short stride lunge. So it's a small step back with that back leg here. Still maintaining a long spine, and then lift your proud chest. Step in, switch it over, other leg. So think about predominantly loading up that front leg here. The back leg's there more for an assist. Two more, and we're gonna get rid of the bar. Step in, lift the bar overhead, safely place it down to the side, head behind your step. Feet wide, look, we're gonna squat, rotate, and come back up tall. You ready? It's your turn. Here we go. So this movement is super helpful. It will help opening up those hips after that long work day of sitting. It also helps develop mobility throughout the spine and low back. Healthy bodies and stronger bodies in the making right here, team. Couple more. You go ahead and give me one more. Take a look here. In, in, out. In, in, out, and reach. Now, if you need an option, look at our friend David to help you out. We're wrapping a warm up right here, so let's get it in. One more. Good job, team. Well, thanks, AJ. Hopefully, that little bit of heat building at the end was just what the doctor ordered to help us to train our lower body. So the focus now is on our legs. And for that, because it's the biggest muscle group we're going to use today, it's the biggest weight we'll use today. Now, most of us will go up by at least 50% from where we are now. In addition, you're going to need a spare plate 
put that in front of you. Keep it handy so that we can finish off with some full body dynamic leg training at the end. Sound like a good plan? Yeah. Okie dokie. So when you guys are ready, you guys ready? Good. You guys ready, ready? ready? Go ahead, pick up your bar. I want everyone to find their own version of a great looking squat position. So we're gonna take a few squats for a test drive. Let's ease it down and up. Now we're all gonna look a little different when it comes to our squat zone because we're all built a little differently. So wiggle around until you find something that suits you. Chest is lifted, that's a common ingredient. So too is ankle, knee and hip hinging. Yeah. Can you hear that music building? Yeah. One more, listen. Leg back, short straight lunge. Four, three, <laughs> drop it, go. Hey. Oh yeah. I think the music says things just got serious. Oh yeah. So as AJ said, a little bit more load on that front leg right now. Can you feel it? Change legs, go. Yeah. Drop. Yeah. That's it. So every time we get to these, we'll do eight on each side. Quick transitions. Remember the rules, right? Find your squat position. Drop down, go. Hey. Yeah. That music, it gets under your skin. It should help you move. It should help you stay in time. Now listen. Yeah. That should help you. Find another inch. Yeah. Can you hear that? Drag your elbows forward. Couple more. Watch me. Little, medium. Oh yeah. A little bit of motion. Stay low. Tease it. Seven, six. Come on up. Short straight lunge. Hey. Oh yeah. Now you'll see that your torso is casting a little shadow over that front thigh. Can you see that? Change it up. Yeah. Yeah. Now round about now. Your elbows should be leaking, right, Bobby? Yeah? <laughs> Come on. Couple more. Find your favorite squat position. Drop it. Here we go. Maybe that's your heart beating. Yeah, when we squat, Mine it's faster. pretty metabolic, isn't it? Can you feel yeah. it? Can you find another inch? Here we go. So we call this a little motion music magic. And our music maestro, Scotty, Woo! is in the house. Come on. Two more. Ready, low, middle. Now technically, we're hydrating our fascia. Stay low, non-technically. We're just working hard. Come on up. Okay, buzz down. Pick up your plate. Check it out. You've got the choices of this and this, or this and this. You pick down. Hip drive is gonna help get that plate up above the head. That's what this is about. Two more. Let's go quick. Hey, hey. 30 seconds. Try. Now yeah. David's got you covered. One option. Yeah. Here's another one. If you want it. Come on. You're saying to yourself, Woo. drop, try. Come on. Four come on, more. Come on, come on. Two more. Last one. Done. Woo. Woo. Oh, I don't know. What we say, most of music magic, but I think that might be a little bit of most of metabolic magic. Uh, it worked. It worked. That was killer, Kathy. All right, uh, all right, guys. It's time to transition to upper body with a focus on chest. So we're going to scale down our weight roughly about a third here to get more closer to a medium load. We've got some meaty bar work sandwiched in between some body weight training behind our step. So once your bar weight is set, go ahead and head behind your uh, step and we'll meet you guys there. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make it look all nice and neat up there. All right, check it out real quickly before we get rolling. We got a push-up, a little chest work, and check it out. Boom, a little core work. You guys ready? Let's do it to it. Let's rock and roll. David's got you with the option if you need it. Get your mind right. Let's go to work. Yeah. To your left. Push up. Now to your right. Yep. And we've got, like I said, some chest work combined with total body integrated core training. So think about improving your golf swing. Or maybe you're pitching at the baseball field. Or maybe it's getting better at catching up with your kids or your yeah. fur babies. Never know where they're going, right? You gotta turn around real quick. Hey, I'll see you. All right. Heading to our barbell. Catch your breath, catch your breath. Woo. Wide grip with your weight or bar. Go ahead and roll back. Bar right over the midline of your chest. Now watch me. We're going down, down, up, up. Here we go. Yo. I want those knuckles raised up to the sky. I want those wrists strong and neutral. Give me one more here. We've got a one small press at the bottom. And then all the way up. Three more of those. So I call it small press, then a tall press. Pretty creative, right? Give me one more of those. And I love rock and roll and full rep singles. Here we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four more of these here. Ugh. But listen, we're not done yet. Go back to that medium pace, ease it down. And uh, no, I did say we had some meaty bar work, right? Can you taste it yet? Ugh. One more of that tempo. We go small at the bottom, then tall to the top. Hey, now listen up. You might feel a little bit in fuego, a little fire building up on your chest. If you do, guess what? You're doing it right, team. One more, eight singles, full range. Keep those cores drawn in, and try to keep your feet flat to the step or floor. Yeah. Each rep counts. Keep digging, keep pressing to a healthier and stronger you. Hold at the top, back behind the step. Hey, David, I love push-ups. So do I. Let's do some more, look. So do I. Down, up, down, boom. Or down, up, down, go. And lift. And we'll all look a little bit different, and guess what? That's a good thing, because over time, we're gonna feel different. And when I say feel different, we're gonna feel stronger, and we're gonna feel better. How about that? Come on. Think about getting knocked down on the ground. What you gotta do? Catch yourself, push your way up. Looking good, Megan. Looking good, Aubrey. One more. And chill. You wanna do more of that? Yeah. Huh. All right, great job, uh, team. Great job. I think, thank you, huh. AJ. Now, while our upper body is feeling a little bit sorry for itself, we're going to combine both upper and lower body and call it full body training. Now, your weight will be very similar to what you just used. We'll call that a medium weight, but you also need a spare set of plates and you'll have them handy for some of the back training we're gonna do. I'll just Ooh. grab a set of smalls. Oh, yeah. Now, the GPS system says something like bar work, Plate work, bar work, plate work. What are our transitions like? Quick. You got it. Go ahead, pick up your bar. And the people behind the screen, they requested a few more squats. Let's do it. Down, down, up, up. This is one way to put a little variability into our squats. You'll notice your lower back has to work a little harder. Nothing wrong with that. It's good for us. We all need a strong back. Two more, chest is proud. One more. How about we tip at the hip? Check it out. Stand tall. Officially a Romanian deadlift. 
but way too many syllables. One more. How about we do a bend over row? Just one, down, squeeze the shoulder blades, stand tall. This time, nose dive for five, Hello. four, three, two, stand tall, hang clean, go. Load, explode, quickly set. Load, explode. So you should feel the breeze of the bar against your body. Keep it nice and close. Four more. So your hips are helping you. That's what it looks like from the side. One more. Bar down, plates up. Watch me. Join me. Down. Take it to the left. Now do it like you mean it. Hey. Come on. Big step. Use your legs to give you a little bit of an assist so that the plates take flight. Come on. Four more. Now listen. Do you hear that sound effect? I want that to be your shoulder blades clapping together. Love it. Ugh. One more. What kind of transition? Tip at the hip. Do you need this? Huh. Like active recovery. So enjoy. Last little bit of recovery you're gonna get. How about we go back to the row? Stand tall. Okay. Dive for five. Yay. Five, come on. Four. Pull it up. One more. Stand tall, hold your ground, hang clean. Load, explode, reset. Or you might say drive. As your legs come up, so does the bar. So do your arms. Ugh. We call this the ultimate power move. Because we all need to be powerful in life. Yes? One more. Bar down. Plates up. Woo. Instead of stepping to the side, step forward. Crouch. Three flies. Two, what? You got it, Bobby. Come on. Step. This time, your thigh is a thruster. Come on. Use it. Back. How you doing, boys? Are you I'm hanging. feeling it? Plates are getting heavy, though. Can we do two more sets? Come on. Woo. This is how we get movement strong, everybody. Step back. One more. Back you come. Hold it. Punctuate it. Boy. Well done, everybody. That is how we get both muscle and movement strong. Huh. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Let's give the legs and back a little break here. But we're gonna focus on arms. Arms, upper body focus with arms. So, what we need here is a lightest weight or smallest weight of the day on the bar. Something close to what we use during the warm up today. But we also will need a pair of plates, possibly, for over, uh, shoulder work as well as tricep overhead extensions. But with those overhead extensions, if you just wanna grab a separate plate, that's totally fine as well. All right, theme word, as Kathy mentioned before, is quick transitions, all right? We'll start off with those tricep overhead extensions to go. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Woo! Are your eyes burning with sweat yet? A little bit. Are your eyes burning with sweat? They should Woo. be. All right, plates overhead, elbows locked into us. Take it back nice and easy here. Go. And uh, now it sounds cool, right? But I promise it also sounds a little bit sinister later on. <laughs> you ready for that? All right, we're gonna amp it up. Singles going quicker. Yep, 
Now look at the common tendency here. We want to go like that, right? Keep those elbows pointing straight to us on that screen, and you guys straight to us here on the stage. You got it? Yeah, that's going to help us hit those triceps. We got 70 Ooh, more. I'm kidding, woo. seven more, seven more. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, final three, team. And then we're going to switch out the triceps for shoulders. All right, drop it down. All right, so here's where you need those pair of plates now. Woo. Woo. All right, take a little breather, take a break, take a break. You don't have to grab your plates yet. You don't want to. Keep in mind, you can always go smaller if you need to as well. Now, take a look. Up to the side. Watch. We're going three. We're going two. We go one, and then boom, here we go. Yeah! To Kathy. Yeah! How we doing? How we doing, Kelsey? Take it to David. Woo! Ah! Two, one, and rotate. Every way. All right, listen up, team. Last rotation, but we're not done. Glad we'll race only, down and up. Eight. Yeah, yeah seven. Baby. Six. Is the music getting faster? Huh? Thanks, Scotty. Music march go again. And down. Woo! Oh, I might go smaller next time. I might. <laughs> All right, guys. Biceps. Oh, no. Grab it. Be cool. Wait for those four ticks. And up. Man, I'll tell you what, you got the triceps, you got the shoulders, you got the biceps all in like three minutes. <laughs> That's a bang for your butt, baby. <laughs> all right, you ready? Singles, here we go. Ah, now look, now is the time we're like, I want to check out. But we see you, I can feel you, you're going to stay with it, stay strong. Urgh. Seven more to go, team. Woo! Not 70, I promise. <laughs> How we doing, David? We good, I'm brother? hanging in there. Final three, and we trade the biceps out for shoulders oh again. Oh, my goodness. All right, drop the bar. Catch your breath. Oh, my. my. Why is my heart rate up so That's high right now? That's one David. Oh, it's probably anticipation of this next portion here. We got it. Take a look. Go ahead and grab your bars. Watch me. We go three, two, one. Reverse clean. Go with it. Three, two, reverse clean. Use your hips. Go, flip. Yeah. 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 Channel your inner superhero. Woo. Right here. Get that weight overhead. Down and up. Uh, uh. I listen. Up only. Go. Break. Seven. Let me hear it. It helps. Six. It helps. Final four. Final three. Final two. And done. Woo! <laughs> now is yes. the perfect time to get some water. Don't crash yet. <laughs> We're not done yet. Clear out your space. We're going to head to the floor in a second. Whew. So you, if oh you want to grab a mat, go ahead and do that. Maybe push some couches out of the way. Or give your dog some biscuits so he's not playing around your head. <laughs> Thanks, AJ. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, we're going to be in a side-lying position here to start off with. So when you're ready, catch me on the floor. Make sure I move up a little bit so I don't hit Kathy. All right. This is great. I like this part. Yeah. All right, eyes up, team. Arms out. We go in. We go out. A little bit quicker. Here we go. Now, we've actually been using and training our core throughout the whole entire workout. But now we're just putting it in the spotlight. How's that feel? We got four more to go here. Yeah. All right, team. Pull it over into a prone position and lift up. 
Walking plank, front arm down to the ground. And switch. And up. And keep going with that same lead arm. Think long and strong through your spine. Got a little tricep work in there too. Bang for your buck again. Last time. And transition the other side. Get there quickly. Get there quickly. Uh, take a quick nap. Very quick nap. <laughs> Wake up. Here we go. Uh, so are, we want to feel it right there. Anybody got that? Anybody got this right here? Yeah. Four more to go. Ah, we want to make sure those knees are coming to the front of the body, right? Last one. Roll it back over again. Ah. You ready to walk it down? Here we go. Now, if you're like, man, this time around, try to set the shoulders are feeling it. Look. Head down to your knees. That's fine. That's another option you can take. One more. All right, head down. Back to your bum and roll all the way back. Look, two, then rotate. One, two, rotate, other way. Uh, now, I don't know about you guys, but I have a little struggle here lifting up in that curl, right? But I need you to stay mentally tough. Because this specific core training is just as important as any specific legs, upper body, or lower body training. Stay with us. Ugh. Question, can you get more range of motion? Go for it. Turn the blades off the floor, turn off the chest. Rotate. Ugh. Last one here. And chill. Woo. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks, AJ. Okay, I only need just over two minutes. Everyone, meet me behind your step or your bench. Two minutes to recover and restore our bodies from what we just did, but not just that, what we do to our bodies every day. So one hand on the step, take the right hand after, under, sorry, calm down, and actually pull against it a little bit so you get some relief in the center of your upper back. Change sides. Reach under, pull against your palm. Now, with the right leg, step to the side of your step. Step and then rotate the arm up. Come back to the step, pull back to child's pose. Take the left leg to the side. Nice big lunge, rotate. The good news is we do that one more time on each side. So see if you can step, make it a little more fluid, a little bit more continuous. Our body actually loves to recover this way. Fluid movements that calm our nervous system down. Oh, it feels good. Now get the hips high in the sky. This is for the back side of the body. Now if you like, you can pedal your feet. Just feel the tension go gently from one side of the body to the other. Last one. Okay, step through, stand tall. Get your balance. Quadricep stretch. See if you can open up this arm as well. Change to the other side. Quadricep stretch. Squeeze your glute a little bit. Now we're gonna step to the right into a lateral lunge. So step hands to step or hands on the thigh. Whatever you prefer. Now reach above. Step to the left. Step or thigh. Just like before, two more shots to make it fluid. Sink a little lower. You should be getting a little bit of feedback from the inner thigh, but it should feel pretty heavenly. Come back. Now open your feet just a little bit and sink. Now this is a mobility squat. Play around with it. 
Every time you revisit this, you might feel a little differently. You might be able to get all the way down. And eventually, if you can, your hips will love you forever. Go ahead and stand up. Well done, everybody. You just did. If you want to get muscle and movement strong, do MOSA Power two times a week. Check out our education video on how to combine the MOSA workouts. We can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much, everybody. Fantastic.